Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there is a whole bunch of news still that's going out, so I have to get it. I have one recap video that I have to do, so I'll be giving that to that after this one. Anywho, without further ado, it seems that Target is in trouble again. Or not really in trouble again, but are hemorrhaging money. And I mean billions upon billions. And it's going to keep on increasing until they get the memo, which I don't think they will. So what we have here is that um, we have Target Brat Pride Backlash exposes rainbow capitalism problem, designer says. Okay, so let's see what they talk about here. Target U.S. retailers target decision to remove LGBTQ-themed merchandise after customer backlash in stores highlights the problem with companies. Rainbow Capitalism said Eric Cannell, a transgender designer whose products were pulled from the stores. Rightfully so, because we learned that you were a satanic, evil son of a bitch, so therefore we decided to pull, you, pull yourself from the stores. Including you, you know, going after children. That's also another a key part here. Uh, says that has sold LGQ rate a good tie to Pride Month for years, but last week the big box chain removed Carnot's products, citing an increase in confrontations between customers and employees and incidents of Pride merchandise being thrown on the floor. Some conservatives and news outlets and Republican politicians labeled Carnot and his designs, which are printed on pins, stickers, and t shirts, satanic and falsely claimed his products and target were marketed to children. No, no, they, they were marketed to children, Reuters. There's been, um, there's been, uh, very a lot of evidence of this, as the, as the case. Um, so, yeah. Oh, and I know about the coal situation, too, so we're going to get onto that as well uh, at some point today. So, you're not being misplaced, Coles. So, yeah. We have, so, that's going on, and then Target stock is down. It used to be up at 131 $131, now it's on 130 Let's make that a $30. Let's take the one out of here and make it a 30 that would be great, because I think we have to make it very apparent that we don't need Target in our lives. Um, so we have more, that we have uh, Target, di Target's diversity chief says white women should take action against systematic racism and call out transgressions in the post-George Floyd world, as retail giant takes $12.5 in value and, and made botched pride merchandise. Now I'm going to show you the actual clip here of her um, being a sane and a racist and a lunatic for all the things that she's saying. Take a look. One of the hardest things to be in the world every day is black. Mm -hmm. One of the hardest things to be in the world every day is a woman. So when you intersect those two things, you could easily identify differently if you wanted to, for protect, whatever, right? I'm not judging anybody, but I know who I see every time I look in the mirror. One of the- Okay. So let's go over a few things here because I think we needed to kind of discuss some what there is here for being hard for being black and hard for being a woman. Let's go over a few things because I think that needs to be a little bit eye opening for people. And this is me not hating women or anything or like that. It's not going to be that type of rant, ladies. Calm down. But it is going to show that women are a lot more privileged than they seem to be and some of the things that they've been created to harm men. So, yeah. So, what we have here is that these are the black billionaires. Oprah Winfrey. Oh, well, she's a billionaire. She has significantly more money than me. We have Robert F. Smith. He's a billionaire. Rob Mohammed Ibrahim. Robert L. Johnson. Patrice Mustip. David Stewart. Strive Masiwa. Mike Nduga. Uh, I have no idea who that person is. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Uh, Abdul Samad Al Rabu and Al Aliko, uh, uh, and Aliko. I think that's how you pronounce his name. There's another black woman. So there's two black women here that are billionaires. These are billion, billion, these are black billionaires in the world in 2023. I'm pretty sure there's probably even more that are um, that are billionaires. But these people are billionaires. But black people are doing bad. This is rough for black people. This is not tough. We everything is bad for black people. Then you have this: How to destroy a man now? A handbook. This is written by a female, and this is something that. Um, uh, how to destroy a man so that you could do the Me Too and stuff and all that other stuff. So that's, uh, oh, that doesn't sound very fair at all for men. That sounds pretty privileged for women to be able to just have a handbook and be able to destroy a man and to have it actually work, which we have seen. And then we have this, grants for single mothers. So we have this. There is a plethora of grants for single mothers, the likes of TNA cash assistance, food stamps, WIC, CCAP, etc., that have all played an important role in supporting single mother families in times of financial hardship. 
So, what we have here is the federal federal Pell Grant, Federal Supplemental Education Opportunity Grant, Federal Work Study Grant, Federal Student Loan, Temporary Assistance for Needly Families, uh, they have Division Cash Assistance, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, uh, uh, Women and Infants and Children Program, Child Care Assistance Program, Child Care Assistance Parents and School Program, and all this other stuff here. Look at this. So, Tell me where the issues were late, where you ladies are having any issues at all in this. Because you get grants just for being a single mother. You can divorce your husband, get pretty much alimony, and take the kids 90% of the time. Get grants for being a single mother, being paid to be a single mother. And where's the, where's the negatives here? Where's the hardships? You guys can go onto OnlyFans and wreak in millions upon millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars. And have those benefits. So where are your hardships? Now I'm not hating on you, ladies. Go get your money, get your bread. But this is the reality that you ladies face that you have. Men don't have these privileges. We're way higher in suicide. We have way higher deaths in terms of oh, in, in the in the job field, like all this stuff. And you ladies don't have this at all. Period. And you guys say that it's tougher being the woman. At least that's what this lady is saying. I don't think so. The case. So we have this. Target stock loses 13.8 13 point, 13 billion since the lowest low level since uh, 2020 over boycott, boycotts. Target stock has uh, lost a whopping 13.8 billion over the past two weeks, hitting its lowest levels in nearly three years as the cheap check chest count retailer continues to face backlash over LGQ uh, friendly kids' clothing. Shares of the embattled chain sank 2.2% at 133 uh, on uh, Wednesday after dropping for eight straight sessions. The stock's longest. The stock's longest losing streak since November 2018, given the company a market capitalization of 60.4 billion. That's off 9% from two weeks earlier on May 18th, when the stock was trading at 160 dollars and 96 cents on the cave of the crisis. It's also the lowest levels target shares have hit since the company was covering for the deaths of the pandemic in mid 2020. The ongoing losses are. A result of ongoing 14-day boycott that was triggered by Target's police of pride, an LGBTQ-friendly line that includes clothing for children and tuck-friendly women swimmer with extra crotch coverage, which was also for children. So yeah, Target's not doing well. That lady that says it's so tough to be female and black is proven instantly wrong when you have black billionaires. And the fact that uh, we have how to destroy a how to destroy a man book. And then you have grants for single mothers and all this other stuff because women have all the all the privileges that men have, and then more so on other things. So women don't have it hard in this country, I mean first world countries. Now in other countries, maybe in Africa or Saudi Arabia, etc., those places like that, uh, or maybe China, maybe uh, some places like that. Yeah, I can understand that women have those have very very rough lifestyles, probably even to the form of uh, women are in danger in those countries for more, the most part, but. Again, we're not those countries. We're not that country. So women are very, very privileged in the first world country in America. And she spouts lies. And this is only going to cause hate and, you know, everything else. So, yeah. All right, guys. That's the video. Like, subscribe, share. As always, take care. Good to see uh, our boycott's really working.